All right, and we have some symptoms of compression fractures in case you're feeling some pain or you're feeling maybe something that could be uh, a compression fracture. Uh, let's walk through these severe back pain with movement. Right, so many patients, whenever they have a, a real compression fracture, they feel this pain, particularly when they're getting out of bed in the morning or when they're getting up from a chair. That's typically what, the, what causes the majority of pain in these patients. All right, improved pain with standing, sitting, or lying down? Right, so once the patient actually gets to the standing position or the seated position, or if they're lying flat, the pain goes to almost zero. But if they're having any movement whatsoever, it can get as high as 10, out of, 10 out of 10. Wow, that's painful. But, and, and that's the important thing with the treatment of these because, because you don't have pain with, with, when you're sitting still, it's only with movement, a lot of these patients become sedentary. Right, they uh, stop moving. They're they like, I don't want to move. Yes. I'm good. And that, uh -huh. that, especially in the elderly population, that could lead to other issues such as urinary tract infections and pneumonia. Um, there's a lot of hospitalization uh, that happens in the United States. The average hospitalization for, for tubal compression fracture in the United States is eight days. Wow. Um, and so the, the early treatment and early diagnosis of these is very important. I think that's an important point that Adam brings up, treating these patients early. Uh, that have compression fractures, so you have to really get patients up and mobilized as quickly as possible. Absolutely. Let's uh, finish off that list real quick, and we'll move on to something else. I think we were at uh, lib limited movement in the spine. That was the third one, nerve damage. And if we can maybe take that one more time, thank you, Ed. Decrease in your height. Truly, really happening? Yeah, decrease in your height. So when we talked and we showed the model, if we could go back to the model here. Absolutely. Um, the model is showing the vertebral body height here. And it's, if you look at it from the side, they're, they're almost like squares. And when you have a compression fracture, it's literally compressing it. And so the vertebral body loses what we call vertebral body height. It could happen in a symmetric fashion or it could happen in a wedge fashion. With the uh, symmetric fashion, you, you actually just lose height. With the wedge f fashion, you lose angle to that spine. Um, and so you could appear almost bent over.